Hi guys, this episode's going to be a little bit different. We're heading out on a road trip, but you're probably wondering why. Well, it's because I've been asked the same question a few times now over the last couple of weeks. And that question was, where do I find inspiration for new systems? So new system ideas. Well, I thought that instead of just telling you, I'd probably show you. And while I'm showing you, of course, I might come up with a couple of ideas myself about new systems to investigate. And of course, I'll share my findings with you. So if that sounds good, then stay tuned. Okay, so we've just arrived at our destination, so let's get set up. Okay, so why have I brought you here? Well, whenever I'm trying to devise a uh, system premise for a new system, I find it's far easier to do that and to get the inspiration for that system if you're not in your normal working environment. And if you can get out to somewhere like this, then it really helps to clear the mind and to give you the space to come up with those ideas for new systems. So this is what I do maybe five or six times every year to try to get those ideas. And it has actually been proven that there are different colors that have effects on inspirational thinking. And green happens to be one of those colors, apparently, that really helps with that kind of thinking. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure, but there's certainly lots of green here. And so hopefully it will help. And so now, with the help of my camper van, coffee, and my copy of Kaufman, you're gonna see exactly how I do that. Okay, so we're almost ready to start. There's just one priority we need to take care of first. Okay, so we're all set. As I said before, the, the important thing, I believe, when you're coming up with new system ideas is that you get yourself out of your normal working environment. And by doing that, you're away from your PC. You're not checking emails. You're not checking charts. You're not checking how your current trades are doing. You're away from all of that, which will free you up to allow you to think about your next system. Now, as I alluded earlier on, I love this book. It's a book by Perry Kaufman titled New Trading Systems and Methods. And this is actually a fourth edition. So I've had this book now for about 13 years and it is the best investment I have ever made in trading. I think in terms of the most recent edition, it's up to the sixth now, but the fourth one does me just fine. And for those of you that don't know about Perry Kaufman, he is an absolute genius in the trading space. He actually started out life working on the Gemini missions, which were the predecessors to the Apollo missions, working on their navigation systems. So this guy knows his stuff. He understands maths. He understands why markets move the way they do. And this is not the kind of book you read from the front to the back. It's very much a reference book and you dip in as you need to. And it still amazes me even now how one person could accumulate so much relevant knowledge. This book is just packed with hard facts. There's no padding in here at all. Zero padding. Everything in here is an absolute gem. Now, when you compare the quality of this kind of thing with the false information and the nonsense really that you read on the internet there is absolutely no comparison and before you ask i'm not on commission i just love this book now of course there are thousands of books out there and we'll all have our favorite but this one for me is my go-to book in terms of giving me ideas for new trading systems or indeed how to improve my existing systems so I'm just going to kick back now with this marvellous view outside my door here with my Kaufman book and I'm going to spend a good 90 minutes, two hours away from everything else just going through this and looking for some ideas. And in about 90 minutes I'll catch up with you and let you know what I've learned. Okay, so see you soon. 
Okay, so that actually took me quite a bit longer than I thought. So I've actually been here for the last two and a half hours, but it's been incredibly useful. And I've got two really great leads. One to enhance an existing system that I've already developed and one for a completely new system. And so I just want to spend a little bit of time now going through with you what those two findings are. And if you're interested in that, click top right now to go to the next part in the episode.